Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson, that's Nathan Fox. We're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We have an email here from Jacob. The subject is not finishing sections. It says, hello, LSAT Demon team. I have been using the Demon for about half a year now and have seen a noticeable improvement in understanding the LSAT. I have not, however, seen any improvement on my practice test scores. I follow all of your advice to answer each question in order and make sure that I am answering them correctly. With this strategy, I have consistently been getting a 95% accuracy score on my tests, but I cannot finish any of the sections within the time limit and have not seen any change in the number of questions I can get through. Puzzling. I'm wondering if there are any suggestions you might have because continuing to practice does not seem to be changing anything. Huh. Why do you think this particular student is stuck? Uh, I don't know. I'm wondering, I'm wondering like, for example, in the games, if you can get high accuracy without approaching the game as effectively as possible, you could. Yeah. I was going to start with games as well. Um, because Games is the one section of the test where I do think eventually you should be able to finish. I, I, I'm not, I, I can't say that for reading comp or logical reasoning. I, there are some, some students are like not good enough readers, not strong enough readers <clears throat> to do the whole thing in the allotted time. It's just not mm-hmm. possible for some people. Yeah. But games, you know, it doesn't have that heavy reading burden uh, it is always a test of reading comprehension first, and you do have to understand exactly what it's saying, no more and no less. But those there there those puzzles, like they are set up in a way that if you're if you really are following our advice, then you're making worlds on the games. And if you're making worlds on the games, but you're not yet getting faster or more efficient, then I don't know, it could be right around the corner for you, but half a year and no progress seems like, I don't know. I, my, I guess I would just ask Jacob, like, are you brute forcing the games or are you actually solving them, you know, by, by making worlds and making it easier on yourself? Cause like, yeah. I agree. Like, that's what you were saying, right? Ben, like grinding it out, just totally brute force style. You can get them all right, but yeah, you're not going to get faster really at that. It's the integration part, right? The seeing through it, incorporating those rules into your worlds, your limited options. That's what really, you know, unlocks the game so that you do the whole thing in five minutes. And Jacob hasn't made that leap yet. Possibly. So maybe, Jacob, you need to review games, for example, differently. Start watching a video, see how it's set up, see how that's the same or different than you started your setup stop the video and then try setting up the game that way Yeah, and see if you can do it more efficiently. Yeah. I mean, cause our explanations now it's so robust. The, the amount of stuff that we have there, it's like, well, here's how Nathan approached this game in 2014. And here's how he did it again in 2023. And here's how Ben did it five different times along the evolution of his classes. And here's how, LSAT demon teacher Matt did it. And Mm -hmm. here's some slides maybe that Abigail has drawn showing you in a few slides, like here's how you could proceed to a a robust solution to this game and dip in and out, right? Like look at a little bit of each of those to consider various different approaches. That's what's going to get you to the point where you're doing the games on this higher level and enable you to actually finish that section. I also, okay, so the second idea in my head is, Jacob, are you actually not making progress? I mean, the subject line is not finishing sections. So there's a part of me that wonders if you're focusing on that goal. And in that sense, you have not made any progress. You weren't finishing sections before. You're not finishing sections now. Uh, But is it really the case that you're getting 95% accuracy on 12 questions now and you've always been getting 90 percent accuracy on 12 questions yeah or... because if it if you start getting 95 percent accuracy on 13 questions instead that's that translates directly to the bottom line right mm-hmm. that's like pure profit yeah 
it, when you get to just one more question, if you have that high accuracy and it doesn't yeah. work that way when you have some, when you have lower accuracy, right? When you mm -hmm. have like 66% accuracy, then getting to one more question only gets you two thirds of a point. Yeah. But when you have 95% yeah. accuracy, like, yeah, you're pretty much getting a full point for every question you attempt. And if you get to even one more question, you know, times three sections, that should be translating to a, uh, an incremental improvement in your score. I don't know. I guess, Jacob, we would need more information. Love to see, you know, send us your LSAT demon username um, or I guess maybe Eric could dig that up for us and we could look into Jacob's study history a little bit more here. Yeah. Last thought I want to say is that it's possible that, Jacob, you're over <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> Like you're answering a question, you take this no time idea so much so that you, I don't know, you sit there and ponder <laughs> all the potential wild yeah. problems that could exist with that argument as opposed to just saying, hey, look, here's an obvious problem. Let's continue. Well, yeah. And then people do that in the answer choices as well, right? They, yeah. in, in a couple of ways, they, they like triple quadruple check the correct answer like they're just trying so hard to make it wrong that yeah. they end up wasting time or they explain why the wrong answers are wrong right that's i guess the other vein of that the, the yeah and the other side of that is that they or, or they or they're actually like trying to think about how the wrong answers could be right you know like because mm -hmm. that'll be slow right that's guaranteed slow if you go into a thinking okay i got to be really sure that this is you know uh, not the answer. I'm going to like, yeah. give it full credit. Well, then you're going to be really slow because you have to flip that expectation. You should 80% of the answers are wrong. So you have to remember that you can never forget that 80% of the answers are wrong. And you got to read those answers looking for like, okay, what's this bullshit about? Mm -hmm. This is going to be wrong somehow. And then as soon as it satisfies your craving for wrongness, <laughs> you go great next, mm -hmm. you know, and, but you don't have to like, you don't, you don't have to perseverate. Like if it just seems irrelevant, yeah, it probably is. Yeah. If it seems like, oh, that's what, that's not even what we were talking about, then yeah, that's probably not the answer. Yeah, well, if you get to the end of the cul-de-sac and you haven't found the house that you're looking for, then you can go back <laughs> I like that. and look at the houses again, right? But chances are you're like, yeah, it doesn't seem like the right house, looks a little shady, uh, the window's cracked, just keep going. Right, Worst instead of going up to the door, like, well, it could be though, let me knock on, you know. That's the wrong number and it looks like nobody lives here, but let me bang on the door for yeah. a while. Uh, yeah. And instead it's like, nah, keep, keep cruising. Like the right ones should pop out. Yeah. The wrong ones are going to look pretty wrong. And that's how you're going to make some, some pro. I mean, especially when you're Jacob and you have 95% accuracy, it's like, well, yeah. So you, you can pay yourself now for that mm -hmm. by more confidently dismissing wrong answers. And like, if you think four answers suck and you think one of them's good, then that's the answer. Pick it and move on. Yeah. Uh, write us back, Jacob. Let us know uh, if that was helpful. Please email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.